Welcome, glad to have you guys back to Home Cooking with Chef Larche. My name is Bob Benson, I'm your host tonight. This, can you believe this? Season number three. Season number three, we're on our third season, Chef. What do you think about that? Wow, that's, that's incredible. Huh? It is. Season number three. I never thought we'd get this far down the line. Yes, I but know. Wow, it's amazing. We yep. did it. We've done yeah. it so far. Awesome. And it was exciting the whole time. It was, definitely. And we have a surprise to announce later in our program that things might look differently in the future, but for now, just uh, already introduced myself. So our primary chef here, our lead chef is Chef Miguel. Michelle, Miguel, welcome back. And uh, third season, we got some great stuff. We'll talk about that in a second. And your understudy... Chef Emily Graham, and uh, she's a teacher here, elementary school teacher here in the community where we're uh, filming tonight. So, what in the world do we have uh, going on tonight in the kitchen? Como estas? Bien. Oh. Bien. Oh. Que se confia o Jordi? What are we doing today? Well. In Spanish. In Spanish? Okay, in Spanish, okay. Um, co cocinando. Estamos sí, cocinando, sí. we're cooking, sí. um, y, y estoy feliz porque um, enchiladas. Going to enchiladas tonight. Sí, I'm sí. really happy for that. I love enchiladas. Yes. I love your enchiladas. Yes. So that's I'm awesome. Really we're going to make also cowboy. Yeah. <gasps> cowboy yes. caviar. Yeah. I'm so excited. Like I asked for cowboy caviar. She asked it's, for it. So it's, yes. It's cold. Yeah. And the enchiladas are hot. Anyway, yes. thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm. Thank you. Perfect mm. combination. So we're going to enjoy that. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. Awesome. All right. So we're going to turn it over to you guys. You can introduce us on our theme, and here we go. So take it away. Okay. So uh, like we mentioned, we're going to do enchiladas, uh -huh. and uh, and we have a, a live public, um, a live uh, audience with us. And thank you for coming. We're exciting for you to be there with you, mm. and you might be asked to come from time to time here for, for <laughs> this sort of thing. Okay, so yes. uh, we're going to start uh, first. The enchilada has different parts. So okay. take the soy curl. I already uh, soaked the soy. Um, last time we, we last time there was like bean burritos or something like this, so we showed them how to do this. So we I just soak it. So now we had to so uh, prepare it and season it and all those things into okay. the skillet. So uh, we're going to start first this. So you want to soak it for, uh, where's the camera? Okay, we want to soak it for about 10 minutes, about 10 minutes or to 15 minutes in hot water, okay? Okay. In hot water. Mm -hmm. And then after this, it'll be soft like this. Nice. Wonderful, nice like this. And there is a camera there also. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> do you, uh, you yes. boil the water? Is it just, just yeah. hot? You yeah, can, you can, it. yes. You can, if you want to boil it to go faster, it's fine. Okay. But you can just use very very hot water and just soak it for 10 minutes and, and just okay. make sure you drain it into a calendar and then uh -huh. remove all the water and that's it okay okay cool yes. so now uh for the preparation of this we're going to yeah. use uh, onions Ooh. and uh, what kind would you like the onions yes yeah, you can use red yellow or, or red onions it's up to you which one do you like to those, use those both both i'll use yeah. red and you use okay those. sound good i mean okay why not huh Okay, so we want to dice it. Do you remember how no, to use the, the knife? Every huh? time. Yes. No, the dicing. Okay, both sides. It's been too long. Yes. It's been all summer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried this at no, home. No, this is like. I tried this at home, you though. Can't, you can't forget <laughs> this. Okay, here. That's I'm going to try. Okay. okay. So we just peel it just like this. So uh, after you cut it half, it's easy to peel. So you just oh. twist like that. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. And then you no. want to go ahead and dice this. Oh, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Wonderful. Wow. Awesome. Snow. She's doing well. Sit. Great. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, you still have your, you still have all your hands together, so that's fine. <laughs> My fingers Perfect. are your still fingers, present. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> now we're going to do only half of the onion. So go the other half, leave it aside for another oh, thing. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay, then after that, you go crosswise, just like that. Yes. Okay. Be careful. These knives are very sharp, so be careful. And then... Guys, in the meantime, I want to put the skillet mm. on. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that. Perfect. You curl and your fingers under, right? Yes, you put your finger. Try. Wonderful. What? Yeah, I'm so I remember. Now. I guess it's I do incredible. remember. More. The nice skillet is awesome. <laughs> yes. You're encouraging. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm a good encourager. <laughs> Awesome. Right. Now, uh, we you take half of this uh, because you wanted to me to mix it. Okay, so you take half of this and take half of this one. Okay. And just put some olive oil in your skillet. Okay. A little bit of olive oil, like a tablespoon to two tablespoons in it. Okay? Yes. Okay. 
So if you want to mix it, they can, but we, okay, this is the one there. Okay. Oh, yes, go ahead. Mm, tablespoon of two, that's yes, okay, that's yeah. Right. Right. Okay, so go ahead, put this one, let me chop it there. <laughs> okay. This? Yes, you can use this one and we can just do a mix, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, it's not very hot yet, but it will get there. All right. Mm. And then uh, Love that smell. I like my it's it's Mexican and I like heat. Okay, <laughs> I'm yes. excited yes, for yes this actually. <laughs> so I'm so excited <laughs> for this. Okay, so I, I hope our audience <laughs> like heat. Okay, some of you. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> so we're going to yeah. use serrano pepper. Serrano and serrano. Wow. Okay. okay. So I'm going to do something. I, I was not planning to do it now, but why not? We're going to put a. Uh, this on the skillet like this on the hot stove. Oh. We're going to uh, just make. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Gonna roast it. We're going to roast it. Yes. yes. Wow, I've never tried that. Yes. That's cool. Okay. Okay. And uh, I use a tongue. How long? Like, I mean, it's already. Oh, that's yeah, so it cool. needs to be really, really dark. So okay. we'll leave it like, for a few minutes. Uh, this is okay. like, is this like charring the marshmallow? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. And what happened is it gives a nice char and a, a smokiness into your meat. To okay. your soy curl example. Oh. A nice smokiness. And okay, it's cool. Okay. Now right. let me lower it down. Now you want to uh, take this serrano. You want to cut it half okay. and uh, take the seed out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is something that probably sometimes better to use a glove, but it's okay. <laughs> you, you don't have to touch don't your hand after that. So you take the seed you. and the membrane like this. Not one of, just like that. You're this is what the heat. Look most so of the heat is inside. Easy. You see, most of the heat. So you want to. Most of the heat is what yes, inside. In the, seed, in the you know? seeds. So you want okay. to take the seed as much as possible, so it won't be so hot. It'll be spicy, but it will be not overwhelming. In my opinion, I think anyway. My eyes are watering just from. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, you want to stir to turn the other side of this. What? In the meantime. Oh. What? Yeah, no. This oh, one. this. The oh, yeah, the pepper. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Okay, the poblano. You, so see, cool. you see the color. Let's show it to the camera. Let's bring okay. it too close to them. Close. The first one there. It's coming. <gasps> yes. I'm going to drop it. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't want to okay, drop you, it. You have it. You have I it. I think so. Yeah, I hold it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, so okay, this is the, uh, the poblano. You want this color okay. as dark as possible so the smokiness mm. goes through it. And uh, uh, then we peel it. Mm. We peel the skin off. Okay, this let's put is, the other side. This is okay. what I have been missing in my life. Oh. Ah, it's gonna fall. It's <gasps> fine. If you fall, okay. we can. Yeah, oh, it's it good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now let's uh, go chop this one. How did you get your um? So I'm still like. Okay. Okay. I think probably half of one is plenty. This is big. For we 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 need it for something else. So I keep mine here. Like it this, and you can go ahead and slice and yours. Let make like small julienne. Oh, okay. Of, yes. Okay, and then you dice it. Okay. okay. In the mm -hmm. meantime, I take some garlic, about three cloves of garlic, mm -hmm. and uh, just slice it up like this. Mm. It's so exciting to <laughs> uh, to go back to the show again and doing this. The wind, the summer has been a wonderful summer, mm -hmm. but I look forward to do this this program with you and uh, to teach our audience good good science of cooking and cooking the home and doing all those things that's awesome <laughs> yes so me too now we ah. can okay go ahead you can put it in okay and i use sweet of garlic you can put more garlic if you like to and it's yes. all right okay so yes. those who like garlic it's, it's awesome okay perfect okay and now go ahead put this thing and now uh, we have the poblano, the serrano pepper actually. Okay, go ahead, put your garlic. And as soon as you put it's your better. garlic, we actually, yeah, let's put the garlic and then um, I have some cumin powder. Okay. Uh, uh, half a teaspoon of cumin, go ahead, put the garlic in. Oh, okay. Yes. Thanks for chopping that. And uh, cumin powder, we have some chili and we have some paprika and uh, we have some smoke. Paprika. Okay. It's like awesome. we have everything to make <laughs> us happy today. Okay. You know which one is which, right? Because uh, they, they look yes, kind they, of. They all look just almost the same. I guess you can Some smell darker. Them. Yeah. That's the chili. Okay. Cool. And that's the smoke. Uh, this is the paprika, and this is the smoke paprika. Oh, okay. This awesome. cumin. So you want to take. Is this? Is this? Uh, do we need to rescue that guy? A little bit. Okay. 
Uh, let me look for, for it and uh, okay. do I put put uh, half a teaspoon of every thing? Okay, cool. Okay. okay, yeah, this is what we want. Look at this, guys. This is oh, wow. incredible. It smells really <sighs> good. Okay, I'll go to my audience over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to smell this? No? It's oh, yeah. the smokiness of this, mm -hmm. the child flavor smell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just incredible. And what you want to do also, mm. I'm going to take a Ziploc bag. And what you like to do is uh, actually, I'm going to let it rest a little bit on the, st on the cutting board. The reason why I don't want to put in a plastic bag right away, because yeah. what will happen, it will melt the plastic How bag. much am I supposed to put? Half you a teaspoon? Half? Oh, yes. good. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, I thought so, you said fourth. Okay. okay, I'm going to put it for a few seconds there. Okay. So what will happen, it will sweat and it will be easy to peel, okay? Oh, yes. it's sweating and... Yes, okay, so it will cool. be easy to peel. Okay, go mm -hmm. in now, you can put uh, uh, the, the chicken thing, the soy meat. Oh, okay? cool. I just... Yes, you want to I finish missed, the whole thing. I missed, yes. Yeah, I missed the garlic. That's all right. Okay, good. Okay, so okay. the soy yeah. chicken? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wonderful, that's awesome. Okay. Now you put... All of it? Yes, you can put okay, everything cool. there. So how many servings does this? Uh, this is um, this we this do about mm, a good uh, four to six serving. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, stir it nice mm -hmm. all the way through, and I'm going to give you some uh, nutritional yeast flakes. Just mm. uh, it's the broth, this is the chicken broth, but uh, uh, the vegan chicken broth basically. It's, it's dry nutritional yeast flakes. It's rich in vitamin B. Well, also, so we can put a little okay, bit of this. Awesome. Just bring the flavor all together, and uh, mm. I have my uh, here my chicken star seasoning. Mm. Can you guys smell it? As can good you as smell this? Yeah. Huh? Okay. I love it. <laughs> okay, a little bit of chicken star seasoning. We didn't put no sauce, so that's basically. Mm. It. Okay. This is yours, right? Your chicken. Yeah, my chicken. Yes, this is the one so that can, I put together. You can get. Can you get this at the store? Yes, you can get it at the store. Actually, okay. you find it at Nature's Nest store. The chicken star seasoning mm. and. Uh, I, I think it's one of the best chicken sausage out there. I I, I agree. Okay. I've tried a couple, well. and I yours is I think yeah I think yours is yeah, my it's, favorite it's so low far. Yeah, it's low in sodium also, and, mm -hmm. and uh, there's um, we have a lot of herbs in it. So uh, those who do not know how to use herb or you know have time to put all those herbs, so it's already in. Okay. So um, let's cool. now let's uh, put some cilantro. Okay, okay, here, I'll let you chop the cilantro oh, there. Oh, okay. I'm okay, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get these off of here. So don't this is probably ready. I'm going to peel this. Let me get that. You see this? Stuff. Look What's at that. It high come up. What in the world? Perfect. This is what we want. This is incredible. And I told you, the smell, the smokiness of it, <laughs> is worth it to do. That's so cool. Never tried that ever, I don't think. Wonderful. Okay, and then we want to cut it there. I want you to experience it, so I want you to cut it after you finish. Okay, it's kind of steamy and hot, so be careful. Okay, do I need Ooh. to take those um, these seeds? Do I yes, need to take, take them out? Yes, I take the seed out also. Okay. Mm, the cilantro smells amazing. I didn't used to like cilantro, but it grew on me. Uh, yes, it's it's a love and hatred relationship. Cilantro, all mm -hmm. you, you people like it, or people. Do you, guys, yes. do you guys like cilantro? Yeah. yeah. Some people you taste like soap, <laughs> huh? And it's, it's it does taste like soap. I know we've yeah. talked about that before, yes. but it does. Yes. At first. I don't know. I don't think that anymore, <laughs> though. Yes. Oh, wow. So you can't come overcome this taste then. I, don't, I didn't know that. I mean, yeah. What, yeah. When do, how long does your... Don't your taste buds renew themselves every so often anyway, so you can yeah. learn to like yeah. pretty much mm. anything? Wow. Yeah. I still have not That's learned true. to like That's lima true. beans, though, so I don't know. I don't eat them very often. Which one? That's the lima probably beans? why. Mm -hmm. what, what about the lima, lima beans? Lima beans. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay, sorry. Okay. So I you can put, uh, this? put this here? Yes, put the cilantro the, the cilantro. In, cilantro. And then uh, okay. this one we can keep it for uh, something else. Oh, let's keep it for uh, the ca carbo caviar. Okay, half oh, did one. you already put yours in? Oops. Yeah, I have it. Wow. Here. Oh, there is. Okay. And let's give it a taste now and see. Are we tasting this? Yes. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's taste it. <laughs> All right. Do we have enough spoons so they can taste it? Yeah, I have. A, let me give you. Okay, some good. Both, yeah. Gotta okay. try. 
and I like. Wow, this is like, like meat. This is incredible. This yeah. is like incredible. Okay, you want to go it looks and give it a taste? Awesome. Here, mm -hmm. Emily, try it there. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, you already put a fork in. <laughs> Sorry. It's nice. really good. I like it. I put a pinch of salt. It's really delicious. Mm. No? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's fine. It's really good. Yes, it's really great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we have the refried mm -hmm. beans. We're going to do the refried beans with it. So there will be a lot of layers of flavor, okay? Okay. Mm. Maybe I should give to really the audience, the audience a little bit of this. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. can take it here. <laughs> you what you can take a Put a couple of yeah. yeah. Okay. So another. Okay. I want you guys oh. to try this at the same time here. Okay. So t everybody take a... It's a simple. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go back. <laughs> okay, let's go back again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. okay. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> yeah, the seasonings are really good. And I like the the texture of the soy clothes. It's like. Yes, the texture chewy, is chewy. Like it's uh, mm -hmm. really nice, clever, everything. You like it? Sorry, Fine. I'm on your way. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> So now let's try the refried beans. <coughs> the okay. refried beans you can use pinto beans, you can use black beans. The black beans is kind of tough to crush, so I like something um, that is easy to crush on the on the fork. Okay, so we're going okay. to use uh, pinto beans, uh, black uh, kidney beans. Kidney beans is my favorite beans actually, anyway. Really? Yeah, cool. I really like kidney beans. Um, <coughs> the Caribbean uh, we use a lot of kidney beans in Martinique anyway. Okay. Uh, so you want to uh, the skillet here? We're going to use the skillet. And uh, go ahead, put some olive oil in, right. and you can use your onions that you diced mm. there, and add some onion here also. Okay. Is it about the same amount of oil? Whoops, yes. I think yes. I squeezed Correct. it. And then Arf. we will. I have some poblano, uh, serrano pepper. I'm going to put there. Basically, almost the same flavor that we're going to put into the. Oh, you gave me more. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and also we're going to take some garlic. You crush this garlic after, yeah. you can put it in. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, did we put the smoke up here last time? Yeah, you did, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oops. Okay. So, Oops. let me take one. Yeah. And I'm going to put some provolone. It was not too spicy, and eh, when you put it in, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> so we need to put more spice then. <laughs> 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 is that yeah, how that it works? was like so mild. I didn't even taste it. <laughs> I didn't even taste it. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put more garlic. I'm, there was this one. I put a little bit more for the refry. So the refry bean basically is a uh, saute uh, all the. Um, the onions and uh, I'll put some poblano probably also with it. Okay. No, the poblano we're going to keep it for the no. carbo caviar. Okay. So oh, okay. it's the garlic, onions, mm -hmm. and uh, spices, and that's about. It, okay. Mm -hmm. Very simple, very easy to do. We're going to taste some cumin. About go ahead. You can put uh, cumin about half a teaspoon of cumin, and the same thing, um, cumin chili powder half a teaspoon, and uh, let's put some smoked paprika also. Otra vez. Yes. And the reason why we put spices, the spices straight before we put any beans because you want to, to release the oil from the spice. So you want to put it straight into the uh, uh, heat. Okay. Whenever there is a liquid and if you don't toast it first, what will happen? You lose about 50 to 80% of your, the flavor of your spice. Okay. okay so just so, those three, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Stir it nicely. Mm. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. nice, it's really good. You ah. guys, you guys picked a good yeah. night to come. This is like yeah, this is really, really, <laughs> really awesome. It's yeah. No, it's it's poblano. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a spice a condiment. Uh, when you dry it, become a spice. It's just like a um, oregano. Uh, I mean, like a coriander and cilantro. Cilantro is a it's a it's a herb, but uh, coriander is a spice. It's the same. It's the same. Come to the same place. Huh? Yes. Okay. Now. Uh, let's let's add uh, this piece here, okay? Okay. Do you yes. need to mash them first or no? Yeah. Oh no, you mash it. You can. You smash mash it in there. Yeah, it'd be easier to do. And I have this for you. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do okay. I add all yeah. of them? Just add all of them, yes. It's a lot, it seems like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe, <gasps> yeah. Too late, no. Yeah, no Is that okay? Put, yeah, you can put it with <laughs> Okay, Solo. Add some water. I put Solo. some, about half a cup of water just to bring together. Okay. And let's put some salt to taste. Go ahead, put some salt. Um, put it, just use your, don't measure it, okay? <laughs> just do it. <laughs> no. I trust you, Emily. If it's too salty, <laughs> we can fix it. Maybe. I mean, okay, whatever. I'm gonna try it. Okay, and we can taste as we go, okay? Uh huh. Oh, thank you. So, okay, so we have um, um, the salsa. We're going to need salsa. We're going to need uh, mm. the salsa for the enchiladas. Mm -hmm. um, we have the um, enchilada sauce and the salsa, and we have the 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 soy curl, <coughs> the chicken there for it, and we also we have the refried beans coming up along. So, and sour cream. This is the sour cream that I choose, and where we feel sour cream is really, really nice. It's smooth, I really mm. like the sour cream. Okay. And uh, so we have it in our store, so you guys can, can look at it. Um, we feel sour cream, it's really, really nice. The cream cheese also is delicious, really, really delicious, wow. okay? So, okay. Um, this also. We'll try that. So, and also we have some daya cheese, mm -hmm. and uh, that we're going to incorporate into our chiladas. So, okay. uh, salsa. Uh -huh. And chilada sauce. Okay. And the ad and uh, sour cream mm -hmm. and the ad cheese. And then those things there. Okay? Okay. Okay. So now we can go ahead and crush it. We yes. Need, yes. <laughs> okay. And you don't you don't have to crush the whole thing. We want to leave some pieces there. Okay. It's, uh, okay? So the, the the purpose is to combine bring it like a creaminess and uh, together. Yes, that's great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a workout at the same time. It is. Yes. My, my arms are still sore from the gym. I'm like, <laughs> oh, you went to the gym today. It was good. Yes. I know. We should not play around. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. I, I said, man, I thought I was in shape when I came there. Man. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. He does a good job. Yeah. All right. So how much um, mass, no? I mean, a little more? Yeah, un poquito mass. Yes, un poquito mass. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. bueno, bueno, bueno. This is the best um, masher <laughs> ever. And if you don't have a masher like this, you guys can use a fork. Okay, the back of a fork, you can mash it also. And uh, let's see if it's possible. Better oh. this, I'm going to get one of these. <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll for it for Christmas. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I guess. And yes, they can use that also if you don't have a masher. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. No, this is just like good sized pieces though. I yes, don't know. Uh, yes. I thought it wasn't going to like, I don't know. I you didn't have a lot of faith in this masher. Okay, so I'm you not said it would not work. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you said it, it looks so work. big so and like, my, oh, yeah, I mean, something. I know it's a professional. I mean, you, you use it in the kitchen, so <laughs> yes. it should work, right? Uh -huh. Man, oh me of little faith. But hey, mm -hmm. I was okay. pleasantly I surprised. Is that enough or no? no Mas. A little bit. Okay. You p <laughs> I, I don't usually put enough salt. <laughs> yeah, there was not enough salt. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> uh, That's good. My, my Nadine would be very happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <sighs> Lower your salt intake. <laughs> okay, this. Uh, I'm going to put some cilantro. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, man. And uh, let's, so let's I'm going to use some paper flakes. Oh, pepper flakes. Okay. Can I like stir this in with the masher yes. while you're doing? Yes, okay. you can do that. Yeah. All right. Oh man, it yes. smells so and good. Yeah, make some some heat to this thing. This is like my favorite kind of food. Yeah, I, I really think. like. Uh, do you like? Yeah. Yeah, I like a good Mexican, mm -hmm. not Tex-Mex, Mexican. <laughs> not Tex-Mex. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. The cowboy caviar is kind of uh, yes. our little nod to Tex-Mex today. <laughs> okay. Right. okay, so it's good. It's good enough, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, awesome. Gotta get every bit off here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. This one. All right, sweet. Okay, so now give it a taste again, Emily, and let's see how it goes. And then we will give, uh, we give uh, uh, Pastor Benson the time to talk uh, to okay. do his lecture. Okay, cool. Uh, and then do we leave yeah. this the same um, yeah, low uh, medium or lower, yeah. like low a, little down bit. a little bit? Okay, okay. Oops. Pastor Benson. Okay, so we, <laughs> I, I, I want to show you this, guys. <laughs> This is uh, actually this is uh, 
Now the refi bin, very easy to execute. Very, t it took us just five minutes or maybe less than five minutes to do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is the consistency you want. That's amazing. Okay. So if you don't have the dried, if you don't do dried beans, if you don't cook the dried beans, you can just get cans of. Yes, the you can. Yes, you can just. Yeah, this is actually the canned beans are used kidney beans. for kidney beans. Yes. Perfect. Or you can use pinto beans. You can use kidney beans. Okay. Uh -huh. So we're ready for it. Awesome. Mm. Wow, ooh, that has some heat. Yes, there mm. is some meat on this mm -hmm. one. This mm -hmm. one is something. It's uh, a little. Great. Okay. Uh, well, they are doing some cooking there. I'm just going to share with you a little spiritual nugget. We've been looking at these Creation Life study guides, which are pretty awesome, put together by uh, our hospital, Advent Health. And uh, it kind of combines what the Bible says about health, and it combines what medical science says about health. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, this is the eighth one, and the final one. So... How important is nutrition? Well, it's interesting, just a story off the top. Lauren, uh, she was somebody who was young, in her 20s, way overweight, and uh, she hit a, a crisis medically. And uh, so she knew she needed to do something. It was like, it was time to do something different. So she did. Uh, she started drinking more water. Uh, so you, you just take like a new start principle. She started being more careful about nutrition, stayed away from manufacturing food. She started adding exercise to her lifestyle. She was drinking more water. Uh, she got sunshine, fresh air, and uh, she was able to do things like um, start practicing a little bit of temperance on how much she ate and be more judicious on what she ate. She trusted in God. She started to journal her prayers to God about helping her with her challenges with certain kinds of foods. And in all that, she did pretty good because in two years, she had lost 120 pounds. That's a pretty big chunk of change there. That left her with just 30 pounds to go to reach her goal. So it can happen with a little intentionality. So how would you rate your dietary lifestyle habits? Were you doing pretty awesomely, right on target where you want to be, or there's some room for improvement? I think most of us probably would say we could improve our habits somewhat. So let's go back to the original design. Back in Genesis chapter 129, what was God's original plan when he created humanity as far as food is concerned? <clears throat> we see 129 says, See, I have given you every herb <clears throat> that yields seed, which is on the face of the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. <clears throat> so we know original diet definitely consisted of fruits and herbs. And I don't know, it just reminds me when Chef Shade came to our church and he did a program on how to cook with herbs and spices, which is a great lecture. I wish you all could hear that sometime. So we look at Genesis chapter 2 verse 9 where it talks a little bit more. It says, out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant in the sight and good for food. And the tree of life was also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So God created all these beautiful trees and they yielded beautiful fruit. So basically what we know from Genesis 1 and 2 is that God created a plant-based diet. There's the fruits, nuts, grains, and vegetables came along later, and we call that a power plant, a power based diet, power plant based diet today. So what are some of the benefits of for those who follow these health principles? In Exodus chapter 15, 26, it says, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, and give ear to his commandments, and keep his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon you, which I have put upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. That's pretty awesome. God heals us, um, and he does it often through food and lifestyle choices. So we know that the Egyptians were just like us Westerners. Where they ate lots of refined food, and uh, they had lots of fat. Uh, so it's not a surprise that they had the same kind of diseases that we did. Arthritis, cancer... Uh, diabetes also, and there's a host of other challenges that they had that's just similar to what we have today. So you could say that what you eat and the choices you make impacted them back then, and it still impacts us in the same ways today. So Francois, a 17th century French author, he said, to eat is a necessity, but to eat intelligently is an art. And that's really true, <laughs> because... To eat healthfully, you need to eat a broad variety of fruit, greens, nuts, and vegetables. And uh, I just remember one person that ate oatmeal every day for 50 years in their life, and they had some medical challenges later on. Oatmeal's better than other things, but it's not the eating intelligently. 
There's some other interesting Bible texts. I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord, Jeremiah 30, 17. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, and it will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Talk about osteoporosis today. It's a major problem. We're just talking about somebody where they're gluing part of the bone together on this lady because they can't put any more pins in there to hold it together. It's a real problem today. And eating a lot of diet creates an acidic base that actually leaches calcium right out of the bone. So it's good to not have too much in that way. There are four reasons to adopt a plant-based diet. Number one, the hunger of the world. As we have population explosion, 60% of farmland is devoted to feeding cows. Cows for beef, beef production. And if we were to convert that to using it to feed people, we would feed an additional 3.5 billion people per year. That's huge. That's huge. A second reason is because eating um, plant-based diet lowers your risk of cancer in a serious way. Women who ate meat daily compared to those who ate meat just one time a day, uh, one time a week, they were 3.8 times more likely to have breast cancer. That's huge. And if you think about who you have as friends growing up, I know some people that were dear friends who died from breast cancer in their 30s, and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. There's a other thing is that if you eat day eggs daily compared to once a week, there's a 280% chance of in increased risk of cancer. 280%. That's amazing, isn't it? So maybe once in a while, but not on a regular basis. There's the issue of cholesterol. So the average man will die, 25% uh, of them will die from heart disease. But of those who don't eat meat, dairy, nor eggs, there is only a 4% chance that they're going to die from heart disease. Does making choices that involve what you eat make a difference? Absolutely. Huge lowering of risk when you go with a power plant-based diet. What guidelines can we follow for healthy eating? Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 17. Blessed are you, O land, when your king is the son of nobles and your prince feasts at the proper time for strength and not for drunkenness. So we did a little bit of feasting uh, Sunday night because my nephew got married. So we had some nice foods and it was delicious. By the way, it was Mexican food, I just so you know. <laughs> it was amazing. But uh, there was no wine served, no beer. So there was nobody who had hangovers the next day. Uh, and it was, it was um, for the proper kind of feast. And it is, that's appropriate to celebrate life's journeys and the excitement that happens as we go through life together. So it's important to make important dietary choices. Uh, the challenge is that it's easy to overindulge on the things that you really like, like sweets. Uh, I do have a sweet tooth, and so that is a little challenge. But it's low in fiber, and it's high in concentration of calories. Sugars added, fats added, and that le leads towards obesity, and that creates a problem in our nation. If you haven't noticed that we're an obese nation by far. So what's the difference between eating natural food and eating manufactured food? Just take the potato. 93 calories for the potato. That's not bad. But if you were to convert that into French fries, that becomes 274 calories. Oh, but maybe potato chips are even better, right? That's 547 calories. That's like five times the number of calories for the same potato because fat was added. So we got to be careful of our choices. Interesting to look at history, some of the vegetarians that were a part of our history. Thomas Edison, Benjamin Franklin, Leonardo da Vinci, Mahatma Gandhi, Albert Einstein, Rosa Parks, Coretta Scott King, Mr. Rogers in the neighborhood. And there's a host of others. Bill McCartney, Paul McCartney, Bill Clinton, Steve Jobs, Carl Lewis. All these guys were vegans or vegetarians. Interesting. So what does the Bible say about a person and what they should drink? Matthew 10, verse 42. What, whatever, whoever gives you one of these little ones a cup of cold water in the name of a disciple, assuredly I say to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. So we see the use of water. Uh, Revelation 22, 17. The spirit and the bride say, come. Let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts come. And whoever desires, let him drink of the water of life freely. So clearly, the best beverage is water. 
Anything else adds calories, adds coloring sometimes, uh, adds different kinds of gases like carbonic drinks add gas to it. And that gas also leaches out calcium out of the bones and causes osteoporosis. So thousands have lived without love, not one without water. That's how important water is. What about alcohol? It says in Proverbs 23, 31, do not look on wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it swirls around smoothly. At the last, it bites like a serpent. It stings like a viper. Your eyes shall see strange things, and your heart will utter perverse things. I don't know if you've ever been around somebody who's had a little bit too much to drink. You can probably attest to all those things. I just remember I was shocked when I lived in Montana, and I found out that 70% of the accidents in Montana were either one was under the influence of alcohol, or the other, or both were, and uh, it wasn't good for fatalities. Isaiah 65, 8, thus says the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one says, do not destroy it, for a blessing is in it, so I will do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. So the new wine in the cluster talks about fresh wine, unfermented wine. There's a blessing in it, but uh, when it becomes fermented, there's a lot of problems that happen. Our jails used to be that the rate was over 50% of people in jail because of the crimes they committed under the influence of alcohol. Now you got to add to that crimes committed under the influence of uh, smoking weed. Does God care about how we treat our bodies? Whether you eat, drink, and whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Yes, God does care because he made our bodies to be a temple for him, and he wants to have his spirit live within us. So hopefully you can set some goals on how you can take some steps to get back to the fruits, nuts, greens, and vegetables power plant based diet and as you do that you will enjoy a better health other things like smoking we know that's going to be harmful thou shalt not kill and they say that smoking is death on the installment plan it's kind of a humorous way of putting it but by the time you talk about cancer emphysema high blood pressure asthma and a host of additional ailments you know that it's not good for you it doesn't glorify God so, in closing, um, what special food can we be? What can, special food can the saved look forward to enjoying? Revelation two seven. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And that tree has a different type of fruit every month. So that's pretty exciting. So I encourage you as we wrap out this creation life study guides, nutrition. Take it seriously, and uh, the more power plant-based you can live and make your choices in what you eat, the better health and the less cancer and disease you will have. All right, so we'll get back to the kitchen, and Chef Miguel and Emily will take us to making that food taste delicious. Okay. <laughs> so this, I just covered the bottom? Yes. yes. Alright, this is a nice deep pan. Right. I guess I could just pour it. Can yes, I just pour it? Yes. <laughs> so we need a little bit after. But it's, it's good. Like that? Yeah, just, yeah. Pour? Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's plenty of water. Yes. This portion is kind of really good. So can I find some more? It's like painting the wall. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. Does it work? <laughs> hey, at home we use whatever we can find, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's okay. I see people using a, a bottle for a wooden pen. Nice. Oh, 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 we forgot the whole thing. Sorry. That's a different audio. I hope it's you're hearing well. <laughs> okay. Hey, we did go back to the groove again. Okay, so now okay. uh, let's put a 
the garlic. So first, I like to brush it a little bit with garlic. The yeah. tortilla. Yes, the tortillas. Okay, cool. Yes, just leave it there. Yes. I what think kind of it gives it extra oh. flavor. This is spi spinach, spinach tortillas. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this so is lightly awesome. brushed, just lightly. Oh, Way oh, too much. oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I was. I it's a, you can use this one anyway. there. Yeah, okay. just like on yes, top. Just yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. That's okay. exactly what I would have done at home too. <laughs> yeah, I would have yeah. been like, <laughs> okay, this, like this. Okay, so now we are right on time. Okay, Whoops. perfect. Okay, now after this, what we do? We want okay. to slice it down, slice it like this, and put overlay it there. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Kay. Just do the same. Okay, yes. hang on. I don't want to slice through all of them, do I? Yes, just yes, two matter. at a time. <laughs> Great. It's falling. All right. Yes. And does it matter which side is up? No. Uh, you, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> you can put okay. another one just into there. Okay. Yes. Very good. Bueno, bueno. Okay. Oh. Okay. Qué rico. Buen muchacha. Okay, <laughs> now. now. <We're> trying. <laughs> okay, now yeah. we can put this, this doggy fried beans. Okay. So nicely doggy fried beans. We're going to do a double layer. So keep half of it and uh, do half of it. Okay. Yes. Okay. If you want a spoon, you want a spoon oh better, yeah, you maybe think? I mean, okay. it's going to have to. Okay. So I hold, I hold those tortillas so they don't go all over the place when I do that. Okay, yeah. Good, good plan. Okay. And uh, I told you, this K5 bean tastes amazing. It's just, it's so simple to make and it is so great. You can put also mm -hmm. scallion, green onions. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can do that. So, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. So my mom had COVID uh, uh -huh. a couple years yes. ago, yes. and she still hasn't gotten her um, smell or okay. taste back, or yes. or the. I guess y she can still taste like salty and sweet yes. and bitter, whatever. But, most but when she came to, I don't know, some event here, yeah. we had this, uh -huh. and she was like, "This is the best!" Like she could, she, she could, could taste because it. Maybe because of the s the heat. Yeah. Maybe because like of the texture, the she really flavors. liked it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so she yes. wanted the. Okay, she, she wanted to go see. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Okay, mommy, we're so making it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so even if you if you can't taste, like still try it. <laughs> Which yes, I actually, know. who knows? I don't know if that's a good recommendation or not, but I mean, I think. <laughs> I think I, I think, think whatever good, works. Good you if you can taste <laughs> or not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next thing yeah. you can put some uh, drizzle some uh, soy curl on top. Okay. Did you say you drizzle? You can use your hand. Yes. Oh yay! Okay. Yeah. I love that part. <laughs> Keep uh -huh. half of it for uh, half. Oh, okay. Yes, Oops. and it can be chopped also. Chopped? You know? Yeah, I didn't hmm. do it, but yeah. it's, it's probably it's okay. good to chop it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, oh, sorry. Maybe be a little more easy. <laughs> soy curl is hmm. expired. Oh. Uh, soy curl. If you put in the freezer for uh, for a long, long time, I don't know the expiration date. Uh, because it's dry, it's dry. There is no moisture in everything. It's a dry dry texture vegetable so yeah it will last uh, for a long long time so okay. if we leave it outside we will rinse because there is some natural oil mm. you, you will get you get against it so you don't want that okay 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 now we're going to put some salsa on top okay oh sorry go ahead um are we doing another layer of salsa too like half of this yes or? okay mm. did you make the salsa or did you just get yeah, I, I didn't make it. Okay. If I were oh, doing it, I would do like a. Oh, it's good. Keep it. Oh, I would enough. do like. No, it's fine. But it's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Is that too much? No, it's not too much. Yeah, I just want to be sure we have enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, if I if was I was doing it, I would do like a, a pico, like okay. kind of like pico de gallo or something with uh, oh, yeah. a salsa. This is what I would do. Yes. Gallo yes. Gallo. Okay, so you're going to put some just lumps like this. <laughs> lumps? Okay? Yes. You don't have to spread it. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I don't have to spread it? No, don't spread it. Wait, but okay. <laughs> then it's like a, a nice <laughs> surprise when you like, yes. oh, oh. Yeah, I, I never, I never actually uh, spread it. Or does yes. it like, you know, spread Even the salsa, I don't spread the salsa either. What? Uh, no, I just. Oh, no, it's going to taste different now. No, but it is probably better. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> we try. No, no, it tastes better. <laughs> maybe. And then no, we sprinkle some okay. cilantro, All right, cool. just like that. It's and pretty. then after this, really I have pretty. some. Uh, Oh. This is uh, this is uh, okay. The green sauce <laughs> is optional. You really don't have to put it. Um, yeah, I put it because do. I like it, <laughs> <laughs> and I made it. So it's like, well, it's it, okay. Uh, so it's really good. Yeah. Okay. So just like that. Okay. Now we're yeah. going to 
Is it something a cheese? Oh, right. The cheese is optional, guys. If you don't like the soy cheese, don't put it in. Okay. But just how much do you do? Like, do you just <sighs> Man, do you do how, it? So it's how, like how much you, you will do if you're at home? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you guys want? <laughs> More? <laughs> Mas? Mas queso? Hmm. I don't know. Probably in the corner, like that. Yeah, so in the corner. Oh, yeah. I, want to be I always miss the edges on pizza, yeah. too, in America. Yeah, they say, pizza, I was about to say that. Like huge. Yeah, so I'll say that. Why the pizza? People <laughs> keep a big piece there, and oh, no. people throw this away. Why don't put salsa on it? You know? So. Okay. And, okay, that so that's perfect. Okay. Now, uh, let's do the same thing. Another layer oh, okay. of enchiladas. And uh, we do a double layer, okay? So we can do the same thing. Okay. So tortillas. So this one's good. Yes. Did we do that underneath? It. No, this no, one I have to no. do. Oh, I hope I don't overdo it again. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure you <laughs> <do> will. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Guys, wish me luck. I don't, well, no. Just pray. Just <laughs> <laughs> pray. I don't want too much on. Okay. Uh, yes. Um. And after that, you, <laughs> you um, the edge. Oh, oh, yes. oh, right, yes. right. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Hey. Wonderful. Hey, hey. That's it's it. Better. You got it. Okay. Hold. And so do we have two. Okay. Yeah. The last two, we're going to use it for uh, the top after we finish with it. Oh, okay. So just. Whoops. Yeah. There's this one. All right. Okay. Very good. Oh, Great. Man. I think it's good. I love the added garlic. But if you do like butter. this, I would just. Oh, yeah. Enough. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, nice. with the garlic, you give it extra flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, the way we cook, it's like everything is flavorful. The tortillas, uh, the salsa, the enchiladas, uh, I mean, the uh, enchilada sauce, the refi beans, mm -hmm. everything has flavor. So when you combine everything together, it should taste good. Mm -hmm. You don't have to guess, you know? <laughs> so I hope this would taste good. I hope. No. Is it okay, enchilada good. sauce or beans? Uh, do this we do enchiladas. That uh, yeah, we can put some actually. Some. I don't, yeah, I yeah. Don't no. That was on the very bottom. So yes, I but you can put some on top. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you for cashing that. Okay. Do you normally? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Now beans, yeah? Yes, just the beans. Yes. Right, cool. I'll help you to spoil it. Oh, yeah, thanks. At <laughs> first, I thought you said spoil it. That's not going to spoil it. <laughs> no. You said spread it, huh? <laughs> spread it, yeah. Okay. Ah, le, le français, hein, le français, un peu, hein? Comment ça? Eh? On ne comprend pas, non, comprendez, hein? No. I tried. Okay. <laughs> no, normally I can. That's good. Hmm. I think I'm just worried because I. Okay. All right. A little Mas? bit. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We can just yeah. finish this. Finish it. Yeah, we can All just right. finish. I don't know what I would do with it. I mean. Okay. You, oh, you will have it. Not you. <laughs> Plain. <Okay. laughs> so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> okay. Well. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Oops. So now the soy curl, and then. Ah yes. Do you like to come over here? Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, should we she finish the whole the, the, the thing? Oh, you saw Yeah, you will finish <laughs> it. Okay. Okay. Yes. We have a we have an extra hat. An extra hat here. An extra hat? hat? Your hand? You can wash. Mira. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me. Okay. Yeah. Why don't uh, they no? just think they have to wash your hand? Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Put the hat on. Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> yes. There you go. Okay, right. wonderful. Awesome. Okay. Maybe we can chop this a little bit. Okay, cool. Okay, go ahead, yeah. chop it. Mmm. This feels very satisfying. Okay. So where can you get, where do you get soy curls again? Uh, the soy curl, uh, just well, you can go to uh, yeah. Uh, Apple Sorry. Valley sell it. Okay. Um, you sell it. Uh, we have it in Nature's Nest. Nature's Nest uh -huh. also. We have soy curl. Uh -huh. uh, yes, we can find a, lo a lot of places soy curl. Okay, okay. it's all yours. It's all yours. But Nature's Nest, we do sell the soy curl. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you sprinkle some there. Sprinkle. Como estas? Bien. What? Okay. This <laughs> 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 yes. Oh, sprinkling this over here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, just like that? Yes, just like this. Wonderful. Wow, I can tell you cook at home. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Uh, all of it? Yeah, you can use oh. all of it. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it after. You know, so <laughs> everything is wonderful. And then what else? Salsa? Okay. 
you can just put down well, we need all over the place yes <laughs> you're doing very well i'm very impressed <laughs> yes <you>. wow <laughs> wonderful you yes you mm -hmm. yes you yeah. can use everything and yes and then some of this the sour cream wonderful yes so good. Little surprises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little pocket of surprises. <laughs> Don't mm. flick it out of the <laughs> Okay, how much? Mm. Yes, that's good. You can okay. put down some in the corners, okay. on the side. Mm. Okay. It's so colorful. Yes. It's pretty. And then some cheese. Let's begin cheese. Sprinkle after some cilantro on top. Okay. Go ahead, take some. And then drizzle some uh, key lime green? sauce. Mm -hmm. Green sauce, I mean. Yeah. Have you tried that before? Have you used it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> why she's like putting it on top. <laughs> and uh, go ahead, put it on top of it. Put it on top? Yes. Mm. Great. One more, one more? yes, okay. and then put some uh, enchilada sauce. Wonderful! Mm. Wow, that looks so good. Mm. When, and we're going to bake it for about 40 minutes at 350. Okay, and uh, I don't usually put the cheese on top first, I will f put a foil on top and bake it like this. And after 40 minutes, I will remove the foil and then uh, add the cheese and mm. leave it for five more minutes. Okay, okay? at the very yeah. end. Uh, yeah. on. What's that? How heavy do you put the enchilada sauce on? Yes, you can, you can, yeah, However, that's fine, yeah. 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 All, all yeah. No, it? no, you don't have to okay. put all of it. You can spread all of it, actually, yes, okay. yes, yes. Because otherwise, mm. when you bake it, we burn all the, yeah. yes, it dries. So we're going to yeah. make it very nice and moist. You can put more if you like to, yes. Wonderful. Great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. She's a trooper. I know. The head is mine. Yes, the head is yours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're going to put. Okay, so now we're go. going to add uh, a, a little bit of foil there on top. Okay. And then I put the oven at 350, 375, 350. And put it in like this. Okay. Wow. Okay. And ready to go. So okay. okay, now, before the lecture, we have another surprise for you the cowboy caviar. Oh. Okay, let's start this. Okay. The cowboy caviar. So I've let me give you. Never made this before. Take this out there. We need the corn. Yes. So, do you see what I did with the corn? I charred everything. Yeah, you did. Yes. You charred so everything. I and it's smoky. It's incredible. It's just like, <laughs> oh, you want to keep eating it. I have to hold up. myself to not finish the whole thing and keep it for, keep it for the mm. class. It's, mm. it's incredible. <laughs> it smells so good. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I think I want them to try this. Yeah. So we're Over going wrist. to, okay. I'm going to. This cutting board kind of dirty. Let me give you another one. All right. What's your best method for getting off the silk? Uh, just like you. <laughs> just like okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. I, I want them to try this. So. Oh, looks so good. Even even though it's uh, cold, I want you to try the childishness of it. Okay. So just take a piece. Which one of you? Yes. Okay, so so basically we want to uh, just how do you say this expression in English? Um, you want to take the all I can think of is shave, and that's not <laughs> okay. I we don't want to think shave, shave, is shave right. the corn. Okay, we, we say it. we want to shave <laughs> the <do> corn. <laughs> no, <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, you, you shock the corn. Well, this is shocking. What's this called? 
What would you call that? That's what I was thinking, shame. But it's not really shaving. It's yeah. like, it's like, um, yeah. De what? De carving. De carving. Okay, okay Algin, see if you can find a word for me yeah. for this. Uh, please put it on your uh, write right. it down. Somebody comment. Co with somebody word. comment how you what you say about this one. <laughs> en français, on va dire dégrainer. <laughs> dégrainer. <laughs> en anglais, je ne sais pas. D okay, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, voilà. Okay, I need this one too. Is this it? Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, I'll let you do this one. Okay. Okay. Yes, go. This right. is my knife. Oh, man. How? Oh, no. Yeah, you don't want to go too close I don't to, think a, ever done. to the core. Did you how, Did you saw it or did you just yes, go down? Yes, you, you did saw, saw? Yeah, Yes. Okay. Yes. I know that I'm about to let you do it. Terribly. <laughs> 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 oh, goodness. Okay. Now. Is there what? Is there a method of like? Th no, there's nothing like doing it fresh, right? Yeah, so you're doing what if you're excellent, not? Excellent. Is there another option if you don't have? Like, okay, fresh you can just take a, a can of corn. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I know just it's not wash the same. it, drain it well, and that's it. Okay. okay. So you can do that. Can you Actually, buy? You can buy roasted canned corn, right? Yeah. So I think it, yeah. Ah, I think there I've is. Used that before. Okay, so perfect. And I'm glad so we're doing it fresh. I mean, there's nothing like fresh. Yeah, I just wondered. They cut it too close. Mm -hmm. Is this kind of gonna be? Well, this will mm -hmm. be for you. <laughs> this will be for me. Okay. 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 So you chop uh. this. Away. This is your knife. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Yes. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Put. Uh, go ahead. Do this. In the meantime, I'm going to use some. Uh, for the cardboard caviar, mm. we're going to use some some green onions. Okay. Just like that. Oops. Okay. You made me realize I was going super slow. <laughs> when I was watching, I was like, wow, that's fast. <laughs> I can go faster. I don't know if what I can she, go faster. She's talking about when you were assembling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you were putting things together for the enchiladas, I was like, wow. I can speed up a little and still survive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how slow I was going. Okay, so okay. go ahead. You can put the scallions and okay. uh, I have some the tomatoes and all, all in. Okay. Anybody have tried cabo caviar? Cabo caviar? Anybody? Excellent. Yeah? You yeah. did? No? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's. it's, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. I think it goes well with uh, the meal today. Mm -hmm. Okay, this I'm going to put some serrano pepper, so be careful when you guys trying this to not take a bite of that. <laughs> but I don't think you, you, <laughs> you will actually. <laughs> Wait, why I'm are you putting them in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. All right. Okay, and wow. we're going to put some, uh, lime is be the best thing to put in there, uh, but we're going to put some lemon after that. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing like lime. But lemon is a close second. Yes. Oh. In the Caribbean, in my country, mm -hmm. uh, in Martinique, uh, it's everything we use lime for. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add some color, so I put the red onion this time for it. So much for going faster. No, you, you're good. <laughs> I just want to give uh, Nadine enough time to exactly. for a lecture, so that's why. Yeah. Huh? Okay, we're almost done. <laughs> Thank you, Nadine. <laughs> okay. You guys didn't realize you were going to have a, the late, late show tonight. <laughs> this yes. is going to be. Well, that's what you us. <laughs> Yeah, Small I think it, yeah, that's, yeah, that's beautiful, beautiful, I mean, it's perfect, okay. really nice. Okay, some garlic. 
So we have poblano, we have serrano pepper, we have um, tomatoes, we have bell pepper, and we have onions, and yeah. we have garlic. <laughs> and some charred pieces. Yes, charred pieces. <laughs> yes, and that's, that's, <laughs> that makes the charm of it. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> okay, how about you dice the one? Just there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put some. Now we want to do not forget the what make the caviar also is the black beans. Mm -hmm. Look at this, so beautiful. That's we the take best a glove. All right. Okay, I'm going to stir this. Wow. Oh, garlic is coming. Oh, look at this. Wow, it's a <laughs> rainbow. Is it a beautiful? That's one reason why I like it too, is because it's so beautiful. Yeah, this is incredible. Yeah, look at that. And go ahead and uh, take some uh, lemon. Okay. Um, make make sure you roll the lemon while under your. Roll it right. Yeah, okay. So you. Yep. I've been doing that at home yeah, now awesome. every time. Great. Mm -hmm. And it work, huh? I didn't know before. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Now I uh, squeeze it all in. Well, oh, excuse. And we're going to put some salt. Sorry if we get a lemon seed in here. I'm yeah. not. <laughs> it's all right. Not taking the time to get them out, I guess. Both halves or just Yeah, one? the whole thing, yes. Kay. We want to add some acidity to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, go ahead and put some salt in it also. And we're going to okay. use some uh, smoked paprika mm -hmm. for it. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> okay. You good? Yeah, okay. just leaving so seeds in here, it's okay. Wonderful. All right. And then you said salt? Yes, want some salt. Look at this, guys. Look at how beautiful yeah, this. Really yeah, this that. is incredible. This is so inviting. You put more salt. <laughs> yes. More salt. Yes. <laughs> Más sal. Por favor. Okay. Yes. Gracias. Is that enough? Yes. Yeah. Okay. For now. Okay. Put some smoked paprika. Ooh. Okay. Chipotle smoked paprika. That would be perfect in this dish. No. Nice. Yeah. A little bit more. Et voilà, we are now almost presque fini. J'espère qu'elle a. Are you ready? <laughs> she's 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 saying Thank she, you I've been ready. <laughs> okay. okay, it's your turn. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's try it. Okay. Well, good evening, everyone. It's so great to be back and to again talk to you about health. And I am so excited that we have an audience tonight. So I'm actually going to talk to you guys, <laughs> okay? Um, along with everyone else that's online. Tonight, we're going to talk about a subject called G bombs. How many of you have ever heard of G bombs? No? Okay. Well, this is exciting. No, we're not talking about bombs. Not going to teach you how to make bombs tonight. This is actually a, an acronym for something exciting. You have heard me talk a lot about a whole food plant-based diet, which includes, you know the categories, fruits, nuts, grains, vegetables, and legumes. Well, G-bombs is a way to key in on getting the most out of your whole food plant-based diet. It takes you just a step further and focuses on on some foods that some people might term superfoods. So all foods in the whole food plant-based categories are good foods, but eating a high concentration of some types of foods has been found in research studies to be more beneficial, as you will see. And tonight we're talking about, we're, using, we're, we're doing Mexican food, and I love Mexican food. And one reason that I love Mexican food is because they believe in G-bombs. 
So what does G-BOMB stand for? G, if you are a cheerleader, it stands for greens. B, give me a B, it stands for beans. Give me an O, it stands for, what do you think? I see a lot of it over there. Onions, all different types of onions. Give me an M, it stands for mushrooms. We don't, I tried to get Miguel to use mushrooms, but he wouldn't put it in Mexican food. So, <laughs> and B stands for berries, and S stands for seeds. And we're gonna talk about, just briefly, each of these categories. G for greens, green vegetables, green leafy vegetables. These type of vegetables are very nutrient dense and rich in what we call phytochemicals, which are plant foods that fight diseases. And greens only contain, if you look on the spectrum of caloric density, it is one of the foods that are lowest in caloric density. It only has 100 calories per pound, which is great for people that are trying to lose weight. There are so many different types of greens to choose from. You've got broccoli, you've got bok choy, Brussels sprouts, you've got kale, mustard greens. What are the, what are the types of greens? Colors, turnip greens, all different types of greens. Greens help to protect your blood vessels by reducing inflammation, which contributes to cardiovascular disease. Greens are also very rich in carotenoids, which help to promote healthy vision. Greens are rich in phytochemicals that helps to remove carcinogens, which are cancer-fighting agents, or cancer-causing agents from your body. It reduces inflammation. It stops angiogenesis, which is the production of uh, new blood vessels by cancer cells, and it helps to promote the death of cancer cells. So eating a greater amount of green vegetables in your diet every day is associated with a lower risk of many types of cancers, including breast cancer and prostate cancer. So hooray for greens. Eat lots of greens in your vegetables. B stands for beans, and I love it because we have black beans here, we have pinto beans, and there are so many other different types of beans that are used um, in the Mexican, Mexican diet. So beans are rich in fiber and many other nutrients. They help to increase satiety, which means it helps you to feel fuller, and it helps to prevent food cravings. In addition, greens, uh, beans, sorry, have a great anti-diabetic effect. They also help to lower cholesterol, and they are really, really good for improving your gut health. A study that was done in 2012 showed that eating one cup of beans daily significantly reduced hemoglobin A1C levels, which are the markers for um, if you have diabetes, it tells you how good or how bad your diabetes is, is getting. Um, this study also showed that people had a significant decrease in cholesterol levels and triglyceride levels in blood pressure, heart rate, body weight, and waist circumference just by eating one cup of beans every day. How hard is it to just get a cup of beans every day? Not very hard because they're so delicious, easy to eat. So eating beans on a regular basis helps to significantly lower your risk of cardiovascular disease also. And then we have onions, lots of onions here today. We have scallions and red onions and white onions. And you can also include shallots and garlic we use today and leeks. One study showed that eating 3.5 ounces of onions per day could help to drop blood sugar levels in persons with type 2 diabetes. Onions also have anti-cancer properties, and observational studies have shown that eating onions on a regular basis could lower your risk of several types of cancers, including stomach cancer, breast cancer, colon, and prostate cancer. And then we have mushrooms. How many of you love mushrooms? I do. Now, I, have, I, I know people that love eating whole food plant-based, but they cannot stand mushrooms. I have a friend like that, and that's okay. More mushrooms for the rest of us. But anyway, if you don't like mushrooms, you can focus on all the other good foods to eat, so that's okay. Um, so, so many t different types of mushrooms. You've got oysters, portobello, shiitake, mataki, uh, cremini, white, but white button mushrooms, and you can probably name a few more. Well, a 2021 analysis of 17 observational studies on mushrooms intake and cancer risk 
found that high mushroom intake was associated with 34% lower risk of any cancer and a 35% lower risk of breast cancer compared to lower mushroom intake. And on top of that, mushrooms also promote a healthy body weight. There was a clinical trial done in which half of the participants replaced all red meats with mushrooms for one year, and it was reported that the mushroom group had lower caloric intake, lower body weight, lower BMI, lower waist circumference, and lower percent of body fat, and lower blood pressure than the standard diet group. There's a lot more to be said about mushrooms, but they are definitely a superfood in my category. So mushrooms are great. And then we have berries. Can't forget about berries. Blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, cranberries, all different types. Berries are very rich in phytochemicals that help to lower cholesterol, blood pressure, fight inflammation, and fight vac viruses and bacteria. Um, randomized controlled trials showed that consumption of berries, like I just said, reduces blood pressure, LDL cholesterol, fasting blood glucose, and hemoglobin A1C. Um, so you name it. Berries have cardiovascular benefits, all of that. So eat your berries every single day. And then we have the seeds, which is the S and G bombs. Seeds, not only seeds, seeds and nuts. All nuts are actually seeds, but not all seeds are nuts. All seeds. Yes, almonds, chia seeds, flax seed, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, all different types of seeds. Seeds and nuts are rich in healthy fats, minerals, and antioxidants. And nuts have been proven to reduce, or shown, sorry, research doesn't prove anything, it just shows it. <laughs> um, it reduces cholesterol levels and improves your endothelial function, which improves cardiovascular status. And believe it or not, Believe it or not, sorry, nuts can be a very a healthy part of weight maintenance if you eat them in moderation. And the reason for that is because nuts are very high in fiber and they promote satiety. But we also have to remember when you're trying to lose weight, nuts are very high in caloric density. And so you really don't want to eat too much of them. The recommendation for nuts is a handful a day, just about an ounce a day um, is all that you need and that will help to maintain your weight. And not only that, you want to stay away from the nuts that have too much salt and that are fried in oil. That's going to definitely make you gain weight. So stick to raw nuts, unadulterated as much as possible. And the other thing about nuts is that it contains healthy fats. And these healthy fats are the type of fats that our bodies do not produce, omega-3s, which help to fight inflammation and, produ and uh, improve cardiovascular status and cognitive health. So try to get at least one to two tablespoons of flaxseed or chia seed or hemp seed in your diet every day to satisfy your omega-3 needs. So, all right, let's sum it up. Conclusion, G-bombs. G stands for greens. B stands for what? Beans. O is for onions. M is for mushrooms. B is for berries. S is for seeds. Make sure that you're getting all of these in your diet every day as much as possible. God bless you. Yes, already. That was it. <laughs> I love mnemonics like that. Thank yeah, you. Easy to remember. Uh huh. G bomb. G bomb. Yeah, very cool. Well, we're almost ready here. We've got some cowboy caviar. We have some salsa. We have chips. And here comes our enchiladas. Enchiladas, it's ready. It's kind of hot, so I'm hesitating to put it on the plate oh, when okay. it's not firm enough, but let's try, okay? <laughs> it's nice to let it rest about at least 10, 15 minutes okay. before you put it on a serving. Okay. So, but for the lack of time, let's do this now. All right, try it. So normally you said 10 to 15 minutes, let it set, but we're gonna put it on here because of the time. And it's okay. It's still going to taste amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes. 10 to 15 minutes to let good. it sit nice. It's, it's like the lasagna, the same principle. Okay. Right. You don't want to put the lasagna to cut it too hot and maybe when you're alone. But let's try this. Okay. 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 Look at wow. this. What? Incredible. A knife or something. Just grab mm. it. 
Et voila. It's not bad at all. And then we can put some chips. You can do it with some cheese, some cabo caviar. And uh, this is what we have. And uh, please try it at home. A little bit of this. <laughs> try it at home and let us know how you like it. Eh? And now uh, you're going to try it today. And uh, <laughs> this is a very simple recipe. You don't take time to do it. Huh? It doesn't take time to do it. Everything it's just a little layers and flavors. You can cut mm -hmm. if you if you have example the refined beans, you can buy a can of refined beans. There's good vegetarian refined beans nowadays now. So if you don't have time, you can just do that completely. It's, it's, it'll be fine. Okay. Awesome. And uh, that's it for today. Um, that's a Benson. Ah. So how do you like this process? How do you like the whole sex? It the was ex Mexican it was experience. Quick. Yeah. yeah. The no, cabal caviar actually it tastes excellent. It is amazing. I can't wait for you to try this. This yeah. is like this is actually the smoked paprika, the chipotle actually mm -hmm. really, really balance it very well. <laughs> and the lemon come together very well. <laughs> so I think it's a good compliment <laughs> to the uh, to the enchilada. So I think it's really nice. Good. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time to make yes, that. That's no awesome. Problem. <laughs> Okay, so we are done here almost, not quite. Uh, we'll be tasting in a second. I do want to invite you to tune in October 11. October 11 is when we have our next show. And uh, the theme is going to be along the line of harvest, harvest foods. So that'll be delicious. Looking forward to that as we get ready for October and Thanksgiving and then Christmas and all that. So, so anyway, um, there's going to be some questions and answers after this. Oh, you can make a comment, post a comment. So if you have questions, uh, you can post that. They'll pick it up, and then they'll refer to that when they have it afterwards, uh, yeah. Chef. So. Yeah. so we're going to scan through the credits at this point. But uh, before we do that, we'll just have a prayer, and we have blessed the food, and we're going to say goodbye after that. So, Father, thank you so much that we can learn how to cook nutritiously delicious food that will just tickle our palates. We're thankful for the creativity that you have, the colors, the textures, and the different uh, kinds of foods that we can enjoy. So bless us now. Thank you so much for the time we spent together. And bless our viewers as they try to implement some healthier choices in their life as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thank you for all that you've done for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great yeah. evening. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Okay, you can hear me now, so that's a good thing. Anyway, so I'm just going to introduce myself. My name is Samuel Gervin. I'm the production director and the senior producer for Camp Cuisine uh, and for the cooking show here. And we've had a lot of fun today, haven't we? We made enchiladas today. We've, we've done a lot. We had the cowboy caviar, which I forgot about. So that's a, a nice surprise. And we have an in-person uh, audience for the first time, which is very exciting. That's something we've wanted to have for a very long time since we started a couple years ago. So anyway, I'm here to answer your questions and work with...
these two here to answer your questions. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them. There's already a couple here. And if our in-person audience has any questions, they're welcome to ask them too. So our first question here has to do with the, uh, the salsa. Is this a salsa that was made with... Is this a canned salsa, or is this something that was made here yes, in the kitchen? I, 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 in, the ca in the cup here, we have salsa, so I just use that. Okay, but it's, mm -hmm. it's easy to make. I can also use it there if you get Okay. Okay. So then, um, the other question is about the cheese here. Um, what kind of recommendations did you have as far as brands or anything okay. like that? I, like, I try a lot of cheese. They have cheese in um, melting. So well, they have cheese in J -J chow. But it's a little bit more expensive, way more expensive mm -hmm. actually. But dia is uh, a melt on the heat very well. It's just uh, we have the cheddar cheese and also the mozzarella uh, dia cheese. It's really, really a good, good cheese. Yeah, okay. flavorful and and you can well. find those at Nature's Nest. Yeah, right? you can find at Nature's Nest. Okay, yes. excellent. So, does our in-person audience have any questions? Yes, yes. Yeah. You can make it overnight. Yeah. Yes, you can make it overnight. It actually, uh, you marinate well. I think it's, it's, it's as good. Yeah, overnight. Yeah. Yes. So she was asking for those who did not hear online about how far ahead you can make the cowboy caviar, yeah. and that was his reply. You yeah. can you can make it in advance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. A day ahead and it's it's just mm -hmm. fine. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So before we go tonight, I have a, a short note about the status of our cooking show. As some of you may have heard. Our beloved Chef Miguel is departing and leaving Campus Sable for downstate in South Michigan. And um, some of you have asked about the cooking show. What's going to happen with that? Well, the short answer is we don't know. The long answer is we are planning to transition the cooking show to South Michigan in January. We're going to have our season finale in December as well as our series finale for the Northern Michigan cooking show in December around Christmas time, or a couple weeks before then actually. Yes. Um, and of course we'll have our in-person audience through then, we're going to have our, our great cooking shows through then, but at some point, you know, in January, we're going to transition downstate to a local Seventh-day Adventist church. We don't know which one yet, and we don't know anything about the dates yet, but we are working on that and we will work to keep you updated on that. And so we'll also keep you posted through the social media outlets and through our website, campcuisine.org. And um, that's it for that. And our next cooking show is on October 11th at 6.30 p.m. We've got a nice harvest theme. We're going to have a lot of fun then, just as we did now. And uh, if you want to find the recipes for today's cooking show or any of the past cooking shows or any future cooking shows, you are welcome to find those recipes at www.campcuisine.org. Everything is there. And on our YouTube channel and our Facebook, you can also find any previous episodes. And um, we'll keep you posted on all of this information. So that's it for today. We hope you have a good day. Thank you.